When did you know we were going to be best friends? What happened? Um, I didn't really know, I think. When we started hanging out last summer, I was like, okay, cool, you know, we're just hanging out because everybody else was busy. And then, um, when you went through your little breakup or whatever, sorry to bring that up, it's just, I saw that you needed somebody and you didn't have a lot of, like, people in your life that you could talk to about certain things or trust like that. And so I was like, you know, this dude needs me. I'm his superwoman. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm the Batman to his Robin. Yeah, he's the side. He was just, you know, I felt like he needed me there and I need him here. So I figured he was there when I needed him and I was there when he needed me. So, Cause, I mean, stuff we go through, I've never gone through with anybody else in my life. So I was like, you know what? This is, this is my best friend right here. Cause I'd say that I knew, like you said, like when the best friend thing, like, that's the best friend thing. The breakup thing is like, I called you and she came over and I was like, oh, she yeah. actually came over. Like, she Within the hour. Like, she wasn't playing. My mom was like, what and are then, you doing? Like, yeah, like the more and more time I spent like with you, cause like I, like after that, I remember like, we spent like a whole entire like a week, like not stop together. And like that one mm -hmm. time we spent in the house like a week straight. Mom was like, so like, so like your best friend is on video? I'm like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh. Why am I special to you? Something like my video. <laughs> Colin, you are special to me because you're gay. <laughs> but you're special to me because you're not like all these other thoughts at our school. You're really cool. Honestly, like you tell me, like you tell me what's up. Like you won't be fake about it. You'll let me know. Like, um, what are you wearing? Or. <laughs> Like, you don't look your best. Like, I mean, not to be funny, but you'll be like, you'll just straight up tell me, like, you need to do this or you need to do that or you need to, like, forget about him or whatever because, like, other people try to sugarcoat it and, and you're, like, real with me. Like, um, you know, I try to be as real as I can with you without hurting your feelings and you just be real. You don't care about my feelings, but... <laughs> I mean, you're just special because you're not like everybody else. You know, you're different and I like your sense of style. And, you know. Okay. Have you ever said something bad about me behind my back? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, what did I say? Um, and who was it to? See, I don't know that one. Because uh, I'm not actually thinking stuff in my head. Like, I don't really say stuff. It becomes like people like... Okay, but like, okay, have you said it out loud? Like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Are you planning to attend college with me? Same university. I guess it just depends on what school I go to or what school you go to. Like, if you go to school in Louisiana, I'm not going with like, you. Like, I want to go to like HBCU college. I kind of want to go away from home. Yeah. I um, do you consider yourself a part of my family? I would say, yeah. Father's Day, the whole Father's Day argument, that was like so out of like nowhere for me. And it was like, I feel like I feel like you kind of felt like I was like dissing. Your I didn't family. even know you remembered that. I, yeah, it's not the fact that I'm dissing your family or anything. Like I don't feel a part. It's just there are certain walls that I have up that I don't want to like break down because people come in and I'm like, look. I get it. Like I told my mom about it, and she was like, "We gotta remember, like you lost your dad or whatever." And it was like, I could imagine how I would have felt if somebody asked me that. Cause I thought about it and I was like, wow, like the way I like came off, it was kind of like buy my dad a gift, like buy yeah. something for my dad. But it's like comfort zones that you have to be in to do things. And I feel yeah. like there's like certain things that like, I don't do because I don't want to cross the line. Like I mean, we've only been friends, well, considered best friends for a year because yeah. you didn't like me at first, but whatever. We've only been friends since I agree. <gasps> it's been two years. Yeah, like she I consider myself part of your family. Like your little brother loves me for some reason. <laughs> do you think I'm a liable? Why? Why not? <laughs> I would say you're liable to a certain extent. If you had the option to, to, would you like, would you live with me? Why or why not? You want to say yeah, but then it's like, you don't really know because like people stop being friends because of the fact that like living with them doesn't only really work out. If things happen and living with someone, you know, it's like a lot, of, like a lot of trust and stuff like that. I can like really like end a friendship. So I mean. It's probably like a fun idea, but like realistically, I say we just like kind of like test it out, like kind of like maybe, maybe. 
I feel like we could do it up to a certain, like, yeah. maybe while we're, like, in college or whatever, but like, once we start getting into, like, relationships and getting married and stuff like that, we're not going to have, like, no double wedding. And first of all, what your know, boss is? <laughs> it'd be cool just, like, a couple years outside of high school, maybe even, like, at the end of college or whatever. What's one reason we're still best friends? Well, your best friend is because I feel like I need you in my life. You were like, it's like, you know, I don't really like anybody else, so... <laughs> I'm getting so serious. I mean, you're just me. I mean, yeah, same thing, kind of in a way. It's like, you know, too much. Like, you can't, you ain't got, this like isn't like a, you don't have a way out anymore. It's like, you don't get that way into it anymore. Like, you're kind of just stuck. <laughs> we can't be beat for You're not going to spread my business. <laughs> but that's what? Oh, no, no, best friend. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, right yeah, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we're done now. We's are done, carpool, finna be full. Not just the one. No. That's <laughs> your game, you don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's too late. Dad was sizzling and- He was sizzling and crackling.